Good morning. Happy New Year. This is my first video for 2021. <laughs> Hopefully uh, throughout this year will be um, happier videos too. <laughs> um, I wanted to do a quick video on um, maybe bad things that's happened in your life. And to me, I do believe that everything happens for a reason. Um, about almost four years now, four years ago, um, I was with this one company for 11 years, y'all. 11 years. I thought I was going to retire with this company. Um, not only was I working with account managers, my, my job was to do quotes, um, you know, making sure the numbers were right and, you know, getting sign-offs, you know, signatures and stuff like that. There was a lot of more details to my job. Well, besides that, I was also pulled to help out the engineer department doing uh, blueprints for um, the shop to look at and, you know, build these, these buildings and stuff like that. And uh, without giving the name of the company, they, they built these um, shelters to go over GCs, which is uh, um, these machines that calibrate the air, gas, and everything like that. They go through the refineries, like, a, you know, Total, um, you know. Exxon, you know, just, just all these kind of, you know, fineries. Um, so, I also, I, besides the engineering department and my job, I also helped, um, I took care of the shop, um, timesheets, um, put in the, the times and hours that they spent on per shelter and stuff. I was also pulled to open and close uh, once we were done with those jobs to uh, um, the finance department. So I, I was pulled for other departments besides mine, which is the quotes department. Um, so in my mind, I was a valuable person. Um, the lady that I that did the timesheets for the shop, I mean, she was one of these ladies that's been there or has done it for so long that she bitched about everything and she let it be known even to the guy that was over this houston location shop and i'm like oh my god she's gonna lose her job i mean if you're that unhappy leave somebody else out there would be more than happy to come in and and do your job you know and get paid for it you know there's a lot of people without jobs that's the way i always look at my you like even mine i mean it's just small stuff if i don't you know i love where i'm at now it's older people uh, we have our own office. Uh, we go to work, do our job, and go home. So my previous job, we were they went they took the cubicles away and it went to the open floor concept. So you're you're hearing burping and farting and people on cell phones. It was just it was crazy. It was chaotic. But I loved that job. I loved what I did. I mean, I was there for 11 years, y'all. Um, when it was it happened on a friday they had set my my boss at the time she had set up to where um i was having a meeting and i'm like okay because we were already talking about um this lady that was running this you know help doing the time she's for shop always grabbing and stuff we're like okay we're, we're gonna we're gonna group together and see what we need to do to try to like tell her Let's keep your mouth shut if you really want to keep your job or move her to do something else because it, it just wasn't working, you know. She would take the smallest thing that could be an easy fix and just gripe about it. And I, I tried to be the one to, you know, okay, look, this is where you, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. I even um, came up with, it's called a three-eye idea. You could be, get $25 all the way to $500 or more if you help save, the, uh, came up with an idea that saved the company money and stuff like that. So one of her main things that she griped about, I came up with an idea to help her. She griped about that. Well, it's not going to happen, but well, I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll come across that whenever if we come across that problem, we'll, we'll fight it, you know. But anyway, enough about her because I, I just get a headache if I think about it. So, they scheduled a meeting and whatever. I go down um, to the, the, the conference room where we're having a meeting. When I walked in, it was my boss and the HR lady. And I got along with both of them, so I, would, I still wasn't putting two two together. No big deal. Right across from where I was having the meeting, they had a little conference room. It was a bunch of boxes in there. I'm like, they build a clubhouse? <laughs> Again, it wasn't clicking in, y'all. I mean, it just wasn't clicking in. 
So I go in there and um, we use we used to get like in the end of December maybe two to five hundred dollar little extra bonus check that would give us just because the company did so well and stuff like that. And so when I went in there, that's the first thing they were telling me like you know Elaine, you know Elaine, Elaine, why I say L. <laughs> Um, the company's not doing good. We're not going to get that bonus. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine. You know, I wasn't expecting it or anything. If we get it, that's even better, but no big deal. They're like, okay. I mean, they just cut to the point. They're like, with that being said, this is going to be your last day. And I just looked at both of them. Cause like I said, I knew them personally, even outside of work, we did 5k runs together and just, you know, I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. Whatever. Ha ha ha. They're like, no, Elaine, seriously. Then they both started crying. Both little ladies started crying. They're like, Elaine, we're letting 13 people go, and you've got to be the hardest one that we're having to say goodbye to. I'm like, oh my God. I said, you know, well, can I like at least get my hours cut? Maybe a pay cut? I, you know, I'm thinking my medical benefits. Both of my girls were still in school at the time, and they hadn't graduated high school yet. I'm like, oh my God. All these things were just running through my mind. I'm like, Oh my God, are you are you kidding? I got like the, the most sickening feeling in my stomach, y'all. Oh my like, oh goodness. So me and Polly were um, we were just living together at the time. We had we weren't engaged at the time, but I mean, in my mind as a single parent, even though Polly was there and helping with the bills, I was still thinking, oh my God, how am I going to do this? You know, I'm like I was already working around all my bills to begin with. Um, because I always, like, even now, even though me and Polly are married, I still think, as a single parent, if something was to happen, i got to be able to um, support myself, but also my girls. Even though they're, they're working and stuff like that, I, I still want to be able to help support them if they needed to, you know? So, anyway, um, they don't let you shut down your computer. They don't let you move any files over or anything like that. And luckily, I had this little, like, USB. It's called a passport. It looked like a little block, whatever. And it had every single, like, 65 um, um, certificates and classes and stuff that I have taken over the years. Microsoft, Excel. I mean, you, you name it. Um, I had it all saved on that. And luckily, I already had it, and it was at my house. So, I could print it out and put it with my resume and... I'm like, oh my God. So they literally, they walk you to your desk. They give you your box. You take only your personal items and they walk you to the front door. Even if you, like those ladies, I mean, they, they even gave me a little extra time, but they're like, you know, just kind of get your stuff. And I was like a scrambled and the guys that from the engineer department, cause I walked with them to, to leave for the day. When they saw me with my box, their, their mouth just like, because I would help them. They didn't know anything about Excel. So they would come and, Elaine, I hate to bother you. And How do you do this in Excel? How do you do a formula? And I had no problem helping them out, you know. And I kind of get choked up right now because, I mean, even though I still keep in contact with all those guys and, and certain ladies over there, I don't get to see them every day, you know. Um, I saw them having, you know, kids, newborn babies, taking pictures of all that their kids and soccer and stuff like that just taking pictures and um not only did i do all those jobs i was telling y'all about um the guy that was over the houston office knew i was very athletic and always in the gym and so he would give me the money he's like Elaine, go put together you know the company team so i ran the softball league i played it i ran the men's uh, softball league and then the co-eds and then I also did the kickball. That's where my kickball started. I, I, I ran it all. I paid the umpires. I did the scheduling. I did all of that, y'all. And it was like, oh my God. I, I, and then, like I said, in my mind, I was like, I'm a very valuable person for this company. And why would they pick me? Why wouldn't they pick this lady over here that griped and everything? You know, I was just in my mind. I wasn't telling people this, but I, in my mind, I was like, oh my God. So on my way home, I'm like, crying and I call Polly he's like oh my god are you okay and I'm like tell him what happened and everything and because that, that's the first time y'all I've ever been let go it wasn't fired I was let go um the sheet of paper that they gave me it says on there that I was not fired uh per the company they didn't need my job title anymore okay so you best believe I kept that sheet of paper to show going forward on my job interviews that I wasn't fired from my previous job 
Um, so anyway, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, I'm in my forties. Now I got to compete with younger kids that got a college, you know, certificate and who's going to want to take a chance on me that has the actual hands-on experience. And I mean, that's a whole other discussion I can get into, but anyway, so all these things were just going through my mind. I was like gut feeling just horrible. They gave me a severance package, which just to let y'all know, um, I'll tell you this one small part. It was like ten thousand dollars so a thousand dollars per year is what they were giving me right but it ended up being five thousand dollars once uncle sam everybody got their cut it you know for me and my girls like i said they were both still in school at the time so i was supporting them full time um yeah that wasn't enough so not only did i get the severance package i filed for unemployment i pulled out on my 401 which was a good chunk of change um and then um later on you know Polly proposed and everything and I, I I look at it now it was a blessing this is where I come I'm trying to combine this story everything happens for a reason so because of that I was able to this is the bright side I look at it I was able to plan my wedding which only took let's see September October November December January February March so six months I planned a wedding also told Polly let's sit down what's our budget for this wedding less than five thousand dollars less than five thousand dollars y'all was my wedding including my my dress his his suit his uh, guy stuff everything less than five thousand dollars yeah I'm a budget person <laughs> and it was a nice wedding uh, my my good friend Emily did my my coordinating she did my hair my makeup my good friend my best friend uh, Kristen help cut corners did my bridal shower and everything um, it, it was nice so because of letting go from that job this is the way I look at it I was able to plan my wedding and then the, the four months after that I was able to do all the um, testing process to donate the kidney to my mom also have the surgery uh, recuperate from the surgery and then also be there for my uh, brother-in-law rest his soul uh, I was able to help take him back and forth to the uh, VA hospital, get his cancer treatments and stuff like that, and just sit with him. And I wasn't, if if I was still working at a full time job, I wouldn't have been able to take all that time off to do all that. So that's those seven months that I was not working, I was able to do all of that. Um. So. After the surgery is when I started um, putting in my applications to different jobs and stuff like that. And it was just a headhunter that just happened to come across my file. And, hey, um, you know, I think you're a good fit for this. We set up the, you know, the job interview. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, and I started losing hope because for at least three months, I was, I was getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning just like I was going to work. And I was putting in applications. I was calling these places. Uh, that's something else that I hate that our, in today's world, everything's done through online. Um, I, I, I still was getting dressed up. I wanted to go in, in person to these places and actually see me and see if you're a good fit. I mean, it shouldn't be what you look like, but at the same time, you don't want somebody scraggly looking representing your company. If it's a receptionist job or something like that, you know, you got to be presentable. Your work should speak for your for itself, but I mean that. Like I said, that's not how it is in today's world. But and like I said, let me go back to it. Everything happens for a reason, and and that's the way I look at that situation that happened to me. You know, every bad relationship I was in, it made me stronger and built me up to meeting Polly and and uh, meeting him at the right time. And okay, I've I've learned my lessons from what a guy would say on this or even girls i'm not i'm not putting down guys even girls um guys out there if you're watching this you know i think you should go through some bad relationships to uh, appreciate the one um and not take for granted you know when you meet the one and not say oh yeah you're gonna be like that the 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 previous one never never think that way you know um there's there's somebody out there for everyone um, switching gears now from job to relationship. There's somebody out there for everyone. Now, if you're wanting somebody right now, I know a couple people on Discord that really want a woman right now or a man right now, don't rush it. 
it, it'll happen when you least expect it, you know. Um, and I'm not going to go into how me and Polly met until March. That's our anniversary, so you have to stay tuned for that video. <laughs> but it, it'll happen, and that's what happened with me. It'll happen when you least expect it, when the stars align, when when God puts an emotion, how whatever your belief is, it'll happen. Um. Make this year count, even though we're still going to be in COVID. We're not gonna. We're not out of the woodworks just yet, you know. Um, I definitely am looking into um, bettering myself. I don't want to say resolution, because like I said in a previous video, um, I don't believe in diets. I believe in a, a healthy lifestyle change. So this year, uh, this past Sunday, I played three kickball games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one team was down a girl, so I played at 1 o'clock, and then I played at 3 o'clock with their team, and then my team played at 6. Um, and so that was that's my goal going forward, is to really hit it. Even uh, even though I haven't been to the gym, um, it'll be March, will be a year, when all the COVID hit, I stopped going to my gym. Um, I still got my membership, and that was put on hold through uh, for a while, whatever. But even if they say, okay, it's going to be shut down or whatever, I'll close out my account. I'm still going to go to a park. I'm still going to get my workout in. Um, I, I've got to stay fit. You know, I've got to stay healthy and stuff. But make this year count. You know, look at something. Even if you're, like, living in the snow or, or somewhere where it's too hot or whatever, um, do stuff in your living room to make yourself, you know, more fit and healthier. Um instead of butter use olive oil instead of white bread use wheat bread i mean there's ways to cut corner stay away from the sodas even coke zero diet coke just stick with water i know a lot of people don't like plain water but it's the best thing for you it's the quickest way to also lose weight you know start walking or whatever and drink lots of water it's it's the easiest way and it's also better for your muscles to um cool them down and stuff you know from all the the workout or whatever but the sun's now beaming in my eyes. <laughs> but make this year count, y'all. Uh, last year really sucked. Everybody was crammed in their house. And, you know, I think the COVID also, I, I think that's also another reason uh, or way to look at things like, oh, God, the COVID happened. A lot of people, you know, their, their marriages were tested and stuff. Me and Polly loved it. I mean, before he would work all these different hours and stuff. Uh, he was still working those hours, but he was right there in the living room with me. He was right there on the couch and stuff. So we looked at it as a blessing. We got to spend more time together. We would roll out of bed out of our pajamas, sign on all the laptops, and, you know, we had fun. Um, his is still, I'm still back at work full time, and like this week he's working from home and stuff. And uh, he gets up with me in the morning and me goodbye on my way to work and stuff so I mean we've been together now five years and it's not like because people were like oh well y'all just got married you know you're still friend no even when we were dating we saw each other every single day so it would have been quick to like get tired of each other but no nope. <laughs> so we looked at look at it as a blessing you got to spend even if you're back full-time and you know when you were stuck at home it happened for a reason Maybe you needed that time for your, you know, with your family, your kids, and stuff like that. That's the way I look at it, you know. But it took a hours for that to happen. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, um, I will catch y'all on probably this Friday or Saturday. Because it will be my three-year kidney anniversary. When me and my mom did our major life change. <laughs> um... Happy New Year again, everybody. Make every day count.